Hey guys, we're back here with another juicy topic. You know what we we'll always break. Today, the topic is going to be deep. It's either you're fake or you're real. At the beginning of your relationship, were you fake or were you real? Okay, so, um, mm. thank you for that introduction. That's alright, that's alright. It's fake niggas out there. Okay, so guys, um, I hope you guys have all been doing well. As Ben said, today's topic is basically to do with, like, people putting on, like, a facade before, um, like, I guess they get to really know you as mm. an individual, like in mm. relationships. You guys know that we always talk about, um, you know, different things in relationships. Yeah. And we feel that that's kind of the main thing that, you know, our channel is about. You yeah. know, we step off and do other things. Yeah. We always come back to cool. relationships because we have the most experience with this. So yeah. we can give you guys better insight. Um, so yeah, so let's just, first of all, define facades. Yeah. So that we know a facade is a deceptive outward appearance. Ooh. Oh, so wow. the definition really just mm. it gives it all. It gives the like full. <laughs> like that's what he's talking about. Yeah, so really trying to make it fancy facade. No, there's no fair or whatever in that. You're fake. You're fake. Okay. All right. So, so yeah. yeah. So basically, um, we decided to really um, discuss this topic because we feel like sometimes, um, not only in relationships but just in general, people can put out an outward appearance that it's not really them. Mm. And I think I just wanted to really just discuss the effects of putting on an outward appearance that is not who you are. Really? You know? Um, before we continue though, mm. you guys go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Um, also, we've done some amazing videos this year with mm -hmm. some pretty amazing people. Yeah. So you guys also be sure to check those out, but after this one. Yeah. Okay? So yeah. So, back to the topic. Mm. Um, we're talking about, like Ben was saying. Fakeness. Fakeness, right? Stop saying for <laughs> Just say it as no, it is. No, because like, when I did came to me, yeah, the facade was the word that But just change it, just put so, fake there, because that's what it is. Do you think, like, you know, when we first started dating, yes. do you think that, um, like, you had, like, I'm going to use the word facade, but no. I'm talking about... Okay, okay then, guys, let's fake. put it this way. If you're a posh and a fancy no, person, like, you think about it as facade. But if you know yourself and you're fake, think about it as fake. No, man, yeah. okay, so, so yes, yeah, do you think that you put on, like, a facade or, like, um an outward appearance that you desire for me to, I guess, accept. Like, you know, sometimes to be honest, at the start, you think, okay, um, well, I want someone to look at me like this. Mm. I want someone to see me as this kind of person. So you act a certain kind of way so that people can see you as that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when I first met you, do you think that you put on that kind of appearance? Um, the way you put it towards me, say it's a side, it sounds better. Okay. <laughs> Instead of saying fake. So maybe we'll say it's a side from now. Okay. But, um, Obviously, there were some areas, I'm not going to name them, but like sometimes for men, yeah. not all men, but sometimes when you first meet a lady, you're not just going to show everything about yourself. Yeah. You know how men talk about you go fishing, we use ladies like you're going fishing. Yeah. Obviously, when you go fishing, you just you don't just put a hook there like all oh, fish come and catch it. Okay. You have to put a bait to attract them. So for men, for me basically, mm -hmm. When I was with you, there wasn't a lot that I did that was like, that wasn't me. Okay. Most of the stuff that I showed you at the start was me. Yeah. But obviously there were some areas that I was like, oh, if she wants this, or like, you know, if she needs something yeah. and stuff like that, I'm not going to ask her a lot, of, a lot of questions and stuff like that. I'll just go all out because we're still getting to know each other and stuff like that. Okay. So in some areas, definitely I did put on some some form to kind attract of, to attract you, yeah, yeah. but I wasn't being fake in the area. I still do those things now, but it's kind of like I question it now before I do it. Okay. But at the beginning, it was like, oh, I'll just do it type of thing. Yeah. Like how men say, I'll give you the world, but they don't tell you, I'm going to ask you questions first. <laughs> what do you need that world for? Did you give before me the world? I give, yeah, you're living in it. You're living in it, aren't you? Yeah, no, but, exactly. Yeah, so, okay. So yeah. I think. Um, for me, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say that like I put on like an outward appearance that like I wanted you to accept. I think that I held back actually, if anything, like I didn't try to like pretend to be something I was not. I was always, I think I was a lot more quiet to be honest. I was a lot more quiet and you used to always be like, oh, why are you speaking? Why are you mm -hmm. speaking? 
Because I was kind of like, what, can he handle all of me? Like, No, I cannot. Can we can go back to that quietness? Can, can we go back? Can he handle all that I am? Can you know? we go and back? And also, like, obviously, I'm still getting to know you. Mm. So I'm not going to just be, like, giving you every part of me because I don't know you like that. But then as I got to know you, you got to know me more and more and more, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I think that's for me, like, I wouldn't say, do you think that I put on, like, a facade or I put mm. on, like, a fakeness? No, not really. You're a straightforward person. So... Okay, I guess I want us to like discuss, okay, so what are the effects? I think we've seen a few situations yeah. basically where, Oof. you know, people like kind of like when you put on, you put on like this, this persona or this person um, to obviously like attract a desired response. Yeah. So you put on like, an outward appearance, you know, maybe you, you <laughs> men, for example, they'll be like, like how you were saying before, I'll give you the world, you know, take them out every time you buy them, everything, That's you know, you have this kind of car mm. and your you know your your lifestyle you're putting out a lifestyle that you know the woman will be attracted the woman mm. will be like wow so this is the kind of man i'm with yes. you know so then they'll, they'll now be jumping there especially if it's, if it's women that are, are like you know materialistic yeah. and they're looking at money and what the man has mm. they're jumping there and then you know later on two years down the track or even a few months down the track oh, they begin to see the realness because the thing is you know, anything that is hidden cannot be hidden for very long. Yeah. The light always It'll comes come and out. really it brightens up the place and things Let are me, exposed, you know. So, it, I had I had a few friends mm -hmm. that are like that and yeah. I know a few people that are like that. Yeah. So basically for some guys what they do is like let's put it this way, they will rent cars and put it out there like oh it's their car. They will rent an Airbnb looking fresh. This is mostly sometimes in America, I don't know about here that much. I know some people here that might do it. And then they will buy the, not even buy, they will rent the best clothes and all of that because they will leave the tag on it, you know? And then they will do all of that just to attract the girl. Obviously, when you reach out there and a the woman sees that or anyone sees that, they'll be like, wow, my God. And these guys know how to lie too. And when they, <laughs> when they bring out that, that fake mess, <laughs> You will, you will enjoy every moment of it. But then, after that, for example, after like a week or whatever, and they get what they want, when you go and see their real house... Guys, yeah. 101 on men <laughs> and how men function. Women too. Uh, Women too, uh, okay? Uh, uh, I know some girls. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. I was actually, when you were saying you, that, then I was actually going to mention, like, women. And yeah. how sometimes women can always be like, with women, it's, it's a different story, it's a different level uh, as well. You know, like, it can be with our looks. <laughs> Makeup, cake face. Excuse me, can I just talk for the women? No, don't. I'm not just going to destroy no, my voice, can okay? You actually can you, okay, I'm going to talk. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. But yeah, like, obviously, with women as well, mm -hmm. I think sometimes we can put on, like, like first of all like physically an outward appearance uh -huh. right of how we want to look how we want to present ourselves out there and then also the other thing is not only that but like our aura how we talk and you know there's women mm -hmm. like could be very oh. seductive <laughs> doing the most uh -huh. right or or they can um maybe put on like a you know i'm I, i'm very i don't know like um wise or i am very um knowledgeable or you're just putting on an outward appearance that is like you know what guys, what, what am I trying to say here? Am I trying to say it's a bad thing to put on an outward appearance whereby you, you want people to view you a certain way? Absolutely not. But what I'm trying to say is what you are should be who you actually are. Mm. It becomes a problem when it's like you're putting on the outward appearance but is that who you even are? Mm. When you go home, when you go to your bedroom, when you're on your own, like is that really who you are or are you mm -hmm. battling with now two people trying to be something you're not mm -hmm. you know in front of people but then in you know in the secret place you're a different person like that's that's kind of personality disorder really can i talk now <laughs> i've been waiting for so long <laughs> okay, go go <laughs> so ladies ladies i've already described my boys now to ladies all right See, cake face, baruga, oh all this stuff that you put on, it's not bad if your person already knows you for who you are. And sometimes you're, you're just doing it for extra nice or trying to be something like just to show a little bit of spice in your relationship and stuff like that. But if your man or your friends have never seen you, just yourself, and that's all you show them all the time, and then one day you take that thing off, don't blame them if they run.
Okay? Like my little brother always tells me, he's like, what he says is his first day with any girl of this age, he's going to take them swimming. Alright? Because once you go swimming with all of that, all of this, it will come off and then you'll see the real you. So, obviously, what we're coming at is, it's not bad to do some of these things, but at the same time, show the people that you care about, show the people that you're around, who you really are. But if you're doing that all the time and they don't know any part, any other part of you, and then after that, boom, the other side comes, they'll be like, regardless if anything you did there was real, they'll be like, this guy's so fake. Yeah. This is who he is, but he's been doing all of this and all of this is fake. Regardless what you tell them, they're not going to believe you. Yeah. So, um, yeah. What we're, what we're trying to get at is like every time we try to um, do something that is not actually us, it literally gets exposed. Mm. So it's like, what's the point? May as well just be yourself, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Being yourself, you don't even have to try, you just have to live. But if you're trying to be someone else, you have to work hard. Like, for example, if today I wanted to be, let's say, uh, uh, what's his name again? Will Smith. Dress like him, I have to start sounding like him, I have to do everything that he kind of does. I'll try to be like that, but it's not it's not going to be as good as he is, but it's going to be close. But I have to continue doing that every time. I have to try my hardest, and if I don't put it on, I'll feel some type of way. Yeah. But if I want to be myself, bro, I don't even care, you yeah. know? I know who I am. I don't even have to try at all, you know? But it comes to a stage that some guys or some ladies continue to do it for so long that they feel like that's them now. Yeah. You know, but they have their real life that they know, but they feel like that's them. So they have to maintain that. Mm -hmm. So then they go over and uh, beyond to do all these other things mm -hmm. just to fit that image that they have made in front of themselves. And I think, and I think actually the effects of it can actually be very, very like yeah. brutal, especially on like a relationship. Like let's say for example, you um, when you first meet, you obviously like you're putting on this outward appearance. Mm -hmm. You're saying, oh, I got this, I got that, I got that, and then. When you get into the relationship now, mm. especially if you get into like a married relationship, let's say you had all these debts, mm. you had all these um like drama, oh like I don't even want to mention the crazy stuff that happens, like mm. the crazy stuff that sometimes people hide before they get into like a marriage, mm -hmm. but like just just to get into a relationship with someone because they love the person, but then later on, so now you have to deal with all these effects, you know. Mm -hmm. All the debt that was there. Now, now you have to be. This person has to be dealing with the debt that you also had. Mm. You know. Um. So it's just it's crazy. Like, first of all, you're not helping yourself by not being honest. You're not helping your partner by not being honest. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it's like transparency and honesty becomes the most important thing. And I think even when you're looking for a partner or when you're with someone, you should really be looking for these things. Mm. Like, do you know them in and out? Do you are they are they like genuine? That you you are aware of all the things that could come at you before you get into the relationship, you know, mm -hmm. um, because yeah, you're gonna have to deal with the, any fakeness that that comes at you. Is, the bad part about it is basically sometimes I don't blame people that you know everyone say oh you met me like this yeah. why don't you love me for who I am and all this stuff but who they met was never it's this not, person yeah, exactly. so sometimes I don't blame them at all because they fell in love with the person that you show the yeah. fake person that you show yeah. and you bring out this new person they don't know this person yeah. and I don't blame that because I'll be the same if you bring out someone completely new I don't know that person, I don't love that person, I love this person. Yeah, yeah. And if we're gonna stay together, you have to be who you who showed you me. Exactly. Who you showed me. If oh, you're not that person, then that's not me. I'm I'm walking away. Yeah. You can't say love me for who I am, because this is who I know. Right. So the last part, um, mm. how does it like kind of make um the person us look or the person look yeah. when I guess like you find out that they've been pretending and all that kind of stuff? Um I'm just gonna speak from me. Yeah. I'll probably, it's hard to explain because, like I said, I'll probably leave because how do I know I'm, I can trust you? How do I know that you're not you're not pretending in other areas, you know? But the thing is, like, if you love someone, why would you leave them? Because, that's, you love because the person I love is this person. Mm -hmm. And they're showing me a completely different person. And for me, this is how it works, guys. Sometimes, maybe I'm speaking from my area of, I love people from the inside. My wife is beautiful, but I love her from what she showed me, from who she is, from the type of person she is, not from the outside. 
if it is from the outside, then obviously that person can put on that makeup and all of that and still look the same. Mm -hmm. But if I if I'm in love with you and then straight after you're completely a different person, you treat me different, you all of this. I'm gonna yeah. cut you off. I'm not gonna lie. I don't care how long we've been together. Yeah. That's not what I want because it's a bit tough. Even though we want to be hiding, hiding behind, you know, our whatever it is that we're hiding behind. Mm -hmm eventually it comes out in the open mm. so it's just better to just be open and honest about stuff i think that sometimes i mean honestly some things are sensitive and some things are also difficult to obviously bring out i understand that people have gone through trauma sometimes mm. people have gone through a lot of difficult issues in life that you know makes it very hard for them to be able to just be themselves or talk about stuff or be open I understand that, but I think that we have to be able to work ourselves to a place where we're able to come out of it. And I think if your partner is actually someone that loves you and cares mm. about you, mm. they'll try their best to really like, you know, bring out the best in you, bring out every part of mm. you for you to be able to be comfortable and be open, you know, yeah. all your flaws, all your inadequacies, every part of you that you don't really feel great about, mm. your partner should make you, you know, overcome this help you overcome them mm -hmm. and make you feel comfortable to be able to you know be, deal with them and be yeah. open about them and not let them overtake your life and now live like as if you're not who you actually are yeah 100 you know? yeah. percent like it it comes to a level of like me and harry for example mm -hmm. because we are so straightforward with who we are and yeah. stuff like that yeah. we show our good and our bad 100%. so when we got together it's like now i have to help her overcome her bad and she has to help me exactly. but it, it's different as well like um you know if my if i was dating a girl mm -hmm. and then she she found out that she's been pretending and then she comes to me and she's like oh babe you know i feel really bad but i really like you and i've been acting like this and this and but this is who i am yeah. i'm not really this person but yeah. this is who i am that's that's more touching than for yeah, me to exactly. find out but it's different for me now to be chilling and then go find out from someone yeah. else or find out in a different way that she's it's so sad person. it's so sad yeah. like finding out because the thing is when you don't want to be open and honest mm. thing, when then things come out it's actually mm. embarrassing it's, yeah. it's too sad so yeah guys basically just be for real stop be being fake for real be for be, real okay guys be yourself regardless yeah, how you are yourself there yeah. is someone out there that loves you exactly for who yeah. you are and you don't have to be someone else for someone else to 100%. love you because when you're yourself that person that is loving you for that fakeness will not love you anymore but if you're yourself yeah. whoever it is that sees you for yourself there might be no one is perfect there might be things in you that is not good but he's going to be willing to work on those yeah. things 100%. but if you're fake just know when you become real, that nigga loves that fake person, he's gonna leave you. Or that girl loves that fake person and materialistic girls. If you show them that you don't have money or or all them stuff anymore, you think they're gonna stay? Nah. They'll be they, gone. They'll be gone. They're not there for your love, bro. Yeah. So yeah. Hundred percent. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much um the end of the video. Mm. Um, we hope that you guys learned something new. We hope that you know you you're encouraged. Mm. And if this is you, please, 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 we're not trying to come ahead and start judging. judging people or anything like that. We're just like really learning from our own experiences and things mm. we've seen around, and kind of like trying to really shed light and discuss and point out issues that we see mm -hmm. so that we all live out a happy and a healthy life mm -hmm. um so yeah but yeah thank you all so much for watching we hope that you enjoyed the video mm -hmm. if you enjoyed it give it a like um and subscribe, subscribe. to our channel as well yeah. um because it lets us know that you're producing content that you guys are actually using mm -hmm. so we can keep producing more content how to have with harriet on yes. instagram yes go follow Check that it out as well. it's always good guys yes, and awesome. We love you guys and don't be fake.